Savage book for us to get. So I'm going to read you my book, Hero City, The Revenge of the Savage Lion, Chapter 4. Dude, wake up! My eyes opened. I groaned. Steel Ripper told us to get up at five, remember? I stood up instantly as I remembered the quest was today. Electro Punch stood in front of me already dressed in his metal armor slash costume with two spikes jutting backwards, sparking with electricity. Okay, okay, I mumbled. First, I want to brush my teeth, then have a quick stew breakfast, and finally use the costume wearer to put on my costume. A red and orange flame-proof chainmail, complete with a cape. Mount, go! We walked through the hallways of Hero City. We arrived at Dock 25 on the Warrior Tower in the right. There was a Justice Jet waiting for us with Steel Ripper in it. We climbed in the jet. I sat on the pilot's seat, heart drumming. We had jet flying lessons when we were newbies. He sure hoped I ho I sure hoped I could do it. Electro Punch and Steel Ripper sat in the back. Okay, the green button to start the engine. Ding, 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 ding. The whole jet came to life, and you could feel the engine humming. Next, the set of switches above my head for the overreactor, relaxinator, left mini rocket, one, two, three, right mini rocket, one, two, three. I mutter as I flip the switches above my head. The three levers next to me. Jing, jing, jing. The engine started humming more powerfully. Then you're ready to go. I grabbed the lever and pushed it forward. The jet flew off the dock and into the sky. And that's, I'm sorry, the end of chapter 4. And I gotta run, so too bad. And next time, it's gonna be pretty awesome. Chapter 5 is full of action and fun. And goodbye!